Ladies and gentlemen, it is day two now in Houston, and today, today is the day that we actually go apartment hunting, okay? And a lot of you guys are probably been wondering, why are we going apartment hunting, okay? My fiance Hannah, who is on the camera right now, shout out to her, she actually got a job down here with Dow, and um, it's gonna be a one year thing, and then we can decide if we wanna stay down here after the year, for another year, or we can go back uh, to Michigan and yeah, essentially just do what, you know, she's been doing. But yeah, so it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. We're literally, you know, going to be moving down here. She's going to be moving down here. The plan is the end of this month, okay? I'm not going to be moving here in Houston until August because our wedding is August 19th. If you guys don't know, we are engaged, okay? If you guys have really been living under a rock, we are currently engaged right now, Ooh, okay? the ring shot. And um, yeah, so wedding is going down August 19th. And then right after that, we're going to be going to Tennessee for a honeymoon. And then literally right after that, we're coming straight to uh, Texas. I almost said Tennessee, straight to Texas. So a lot of things are going down. Okay, but I'm excited. I'm excited for the content. I'm excited for the opportunities, um, especially because we're going to be right next to Alpha Land. You guys saw where we went earlier, okay, yesterday? That was freaking Alpha Land. Unfortunately, though, I definitely like, cannot afford a gym membership there, but hey, we are going to make it happen. All right, somehow we're going we're gonna to keep pushing out the content on obviously Twitch and then obviously on YouTube. We're going to keep killing it, hopefully with the vlogs. That'd be sick. That'd be so dope to have a membership at Alpha Land. We are now going to go get some breakfast because it is 9.18 and we are absolutely starving. So let's go get some breakfast. Woo! Hey, yo, guys. We went to Clean Juice for breakfast, okay? Honestly, pretty, pretty cute restaurant, okay? Look at that. We're eating outside because it is beautiful in Houston. All right, Hannah, she got the, what smoothie did you get? The So Basic. The So Basic because she's a basic white girl. <laughs> it has strawberries, banana, maple syrup, almond butter, almond milk. I don't know. It's and, really good. And there's like syrup in it though. But I like it. A lot of I'm not, not a fan. I'm not crazy for the aftertaste on it, but it was, it was all right. I would rather have peanut butter in it, but, and then she got avocado toast. That person's pissed. Um, avocado toast, look at that. Anyone, any avocado lovers in here? I'm big, taste test. Big avocado toast. Taste fan. test, taste test, taste test, taste test, taste test, taste Ooh, I'm not an avocado fan. Mm -hmm. I, I would rather just have peanut butter on toast. It would be much good. better. And then I got the acai bowl, which is what you guys truly care about, okay? Um, apparently, my name is Hannah now. If that would focus. Hannah, Hannah, focus. Oh my gosh, my camera's having a freaking aneurysm. Dude, what is happening with my camera? There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I got the green bowl. I've never gotten this healthy of a bowl before, so this should be interesting. All right, guys, we're gonna do the thing. I'm trying, but it's freaking filled to the brim. Let me tell you, it smells healthy. It smells very, very healthy. I've never had a green bowl before. The last time I went, I went to Grain and Berry in Florida. That place is insane, by the way. Um, and I wanted to get a green bowl there, but they didn't have it, but let's give it a shot. That's pretty solid. You can definitely taste that there's kale in there. I mean, you can tell it's healthy. You can definitely tell it's really, really, really like healthy for you. It's honestly not bad though. If you're not a very healthy kind of person, you're probably not gonna really want to eat this. I'm gonna be honest, but it's good. I can tell that it's very healthy for me. Can we talk about how this man's eating acai bowl with a fork? I gotta be able to spork the uh, bananas. Mm, okay. I approve. Very healthy. We just got done looking at the first apartment. This one didn't have like the rooms that we actually wanted to look at in person because they're all occupied. Um, but we were able to tour the one bedroom, but I wasn't really able to show you guys that. But um, it was honestly super nice. That was like our first pick and me and Hannah, we both really, really liked it. Um, it like I said, it is a bummer, you know, that we can't actually look at the apartment that we want. Um, but I mean, you could at least obviously see like how, how up, like it looked very up, what's the word? Not upscale. Up no, like well kept. Ke well kept. Upscale. What the freak is that? Uh. Yeah, it looked very well kept. I would say that's still the one we definitely want, but we are at another one here. So we're about to go look at this next one. I'm not showing the actual sign, but this is the leasing office. Looks kind of bougie. Yeah, I will say the pool looked insane. There was like literally jets. I should have recorded that. I should have at least recorded that. That would have been sick. There was like fountains. Fountains like shooting. Like there was like 10 different fountains shooting across the pool. That was the leasing office too. The one at the other place. I maybe could have showed that. I should have asked. It was crap. I probably should ask just a little bit, but I also am not trying to sh expose where we're going either. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's kind of hard, but I'm trying to okay share the share this journey along with you guys um, But yeah, so we're gonna go look at the next one and um, we'll see if we somehow like it better than the other one Maybe hopefully this one we can actually look at you know rooms that we're planning on renting But um so far so good Hannah. What do you what do you have to say? Any, I any final thoughts? Loved the first place. I like 
kind of did all the research on what places we're gonna look at and it was way nicer than I was gonna expect like honestly like yeah they obviously try to make like the inside where like the leasing office and the clubhouses like look really nice but even just the apartments themselves were beautiful and like the pool and the trees it just felt like very safe which is kind of one of the most important factors is we're trying to make sure we're like in a safe area and that it's gonna be clean um and like I feel like the neighborhoods we're in right now are like really nice so hopefully the next one is just as good Awesome, all right, on to the next apartment. Apartment complex number two, very solid, okay? We were actually able to look at one of the rooms. I did not record in it, but honestly, very nice place. We have this nice beautiful fountain right here and we have the pool as I showed you guys. So this place was pretty nice too and it was a little bit more affordable. Um, I will say though, there are some weird things that they're like ducks here, but they look like chickens. That was weird, okay. Um, Cause they're literally ducks, I'm pretty sure, but it literally looks like a chicken. It literally looks like a chicken and a duck had a baby. The guy that helped us out, honestly, a really cool guy as well. Um, so this could definitely be a potential option as the price is a little bit more reasonable. Um, and the room was honestly super nice. All right, friends, gotta put the sunglasses on for this conversation. I'm not gonna lie, I like this one even more because it's cheaper. It is a lot cheaper. But it's still really nice. Yep. And the stairs looked less sketchy than the last place. That's even true. Even though we wouldn't be, well, some of them are on the third floor, but price-wise, incredible. Super great staff, very beautiful. So I like, I'm torn now. We got really, two really good options for sure, so. I'm feeling pretty good. On to the next. That hurt. I just hit her glasses on my ear. Sorry. See you at the next apartment. Bye. Bye. Well, guys, this is um, this apartment was an experience. It was. It is kind of nice because we get to self tour it. But I guess the person that was in this previously got evicted. I didn't know that. So it's kind of scary in here because you can tell though that like they obviously must have repainted the walls. But like, there's literally still like a plate in the fridge. I mean, like the no, in the microwave. I know, sorry, why did I say the fridge? In the microwave? I mean, you know, there's just some concerning things, but like it's also like this is being remodeled or like, you know what I mean? Like they're like making it, fixing it up, but it's like- There's bugs everywhere. You can just tell that the, per the previous person did not care. Like, you know, like they essentially trashed the place is what it looks like. I mean, there's just, I don't know. There's just <laughs> things. There's just a razor there. Bugs. I, I don't know. And there's just like a ton of little, like they're not, they're not like cockroaches, but they're- Little tiny which, like fruit I'm flies. I'm surprised there isn't any cockroaches <laughs> in here. I gotta give it that. We haven't seen one and just, I shouldn't even say that until I see like a, I don't know. Things just, you know, it's I, I, out of the other two we've seen. Not a fan so far. But also I have to give it, I can't, I feel like I can't just downplay it because this isn't what it would look like. Right. This is what it looks like after someone gets evicted, I can tell. <laughs> Um, and the thing is too, like the the complex itself is really nice. So I feel like we're gonna go look at another unit, and I think it'll and be nicer. This actually, is kind of cool. I don't know what is on that, um, but this, this is kind of cool. Like little, I don't know. Like you could yeah, put like a little is, cushion or something here. Yeah, that is pretty dope. You got it. It's in the master bedroom. Not the best view, okay. But I will say, I'm gonna come show you guys real quick. Oh yeah. And the walk-in closet. This is actually nice, okay. This is nice, other than you know. <laughs> The electrical paneling, but this is actually a nice closet. But I will say the patio, I don't know how the frick you have this big of a patio. This is like the guest room, which this is actually super nice. This is the guest room. And then you also have another very big walk-in closet, which is super nice. Um, so this would, my guest room, this would be the gaming room. Let's go boys, hype me up in the comments. This is pretty dope. Look, look at the size of this patio. This is actually insane. If you actually have this full patio, that's actually cracked. You guys see that? Those look absolutely terrifying. Oh, I got it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna step back inside and act like we never saw that. But I will say, the patio, that's insane. Because, like, that actually would be mad fun to, like, have the patio, even though you don't necessarily have the best view. I mean, it's just a fact. There's a cop there. over there, that's a good sign. There's a cop over there? Yeah, he's just chilling. I mean, is that a good sign or does that mean he's looking for somebody? <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, guys, we are at Lupe Tortillas, all right? Max Chuni recommended this, okay? Owner of Sour Strips, if you don't know who that is. And so far, we got the chips, okay? And the salsa, that was already pretty fire. We are going to try the chips and queso, though. There's also this weird dip that's actually kind of good, but we don't know what it is. Yeah, we don't know what that dip is, but it's pretty fire, I can't lie. But here we go, queso. That is bustle. Is it? Super cheesy. Our meal though, we're gonna order, I think, the sizzling fajitas, and we're gonna get a half order and split them. So, I'm sure it's gonna be good, okay? I mean, Max Tuning recommended it. How could he? He's not gonna, he's not gonna lead us wrong, okay? Try the, try the chips. They're pretty fire. It's really cheesy. It's fire though, I like it. I was, I was expecting like a white queso. It's good though. It is good. Dang. Very, very busted. Busted respectfully, okay? And by the way, that last apartment we went to was terrifying. Not a vibe. Not a vibe. Dead cockroaches. The first two we went to though, very good, okay? Phenomenal. But the third apartment we looked at definitely is not going to be on our list. We dipped out. Yeah, there was literally bugs on the floor. Dead cockroaches in both of them, just all over the floor. Not a move. But anyways, we're going to enjoy this lunch, okay? Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog, and um, we'll see you guys in whatever adventure we do next. Actually, we'll see you guys once our food comes out, okay? Bye! Alright guys, my first ever margarita, as Max would say, okay? I'm gonna do it. I think, I think this is what he does. It's a good consistency, he says, if the straw stays to the left-hand side of the of the glass, okay? We got a strawberry Rita, I think it's called. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I already did I already did have it, but I figured I have to capture this on camera for you guys. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. It is very strong tequila though. Tequila. So if you don't like tequila, you're probably not gonna like a margarita. Does all margaritas have tequila, I'm assuming? It's not bad. This isn't this is the second time I've had tequila in a frozen form. It's not bad. It's definitely very strong though, okay? But, um, you know, had, had to get the margarita for the homie Max. Alright guys, we finally got our chicken quesadillas, or chicken fajitas, sorry. Sorry. Okay, chicken fajitas. I'm already halfway done with my first one. I'm already halfway done, but hey, I was patient and I waited. I waited for the Look vlog. at all that. Okay. I don't know how to fold this, these. What is this? And we just got a mango margarita. Okay, the strawberry one was actually super good. Um, so we got a mango one. Here we go. Bro, it's so good. It's such a good fajita. That is freaking bussin'. That is bussin' respectfully. You got, we got the queso cheese in it, the, fr the fried rice, and we even got some of the salsa juice on it. They're handmade tortillas. Handmade tortillas. That is some excellent Mexican food if I've ever had it. Definitely the best fajita I've ever had, 100%. First taste test. This one's actually for real. We haven't tried it yet. See if it's a good enough consistency. It is a little bit more liquidy, you can tell, but it definitely is still good. Ooh, I like that. I actually think I like that more than the strawberry. I like this one. It kind of reminds me of the mango sour strips. Frick, I forgot. I literally brought the strawberry sour strips so I could put it in the strawberry, uh, the strawberry Vita. Frick. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to put it in the mango one. Straw mango. Max Chuni, thank you so much for the recommendation. This food is absolutely amazing. All right, guys. If you guys remember earlier at the apartment, I was telling you guys there are ducks. I think they're ducks, right? Yeah, they're, they're ducks, but they look like chickens. They look like chickens. It looks like a duck and a chicken had a baby. I'm telling you, these things literally look like a duck. Look at its face. It literally looks like a chicken head. It looks like a chicken head. Hold on, guys. I'm in my natural habitat. I'm getting close, steady, slow and steady. I promise. Oh, crocky. We have the chicken. I love you. I promise you, this is all for fame for you guys. Just don't fight me. Oh, you guys are giving me some great shots. Oh, he's sitting down. Oh, look how nice he is. I'm not getting flanked, am I? No. Dude, look at that thing. It looks like a chicken head. Hey, you guys are awesome. All right, Billy Bob, I'll catch you later. I'll catch you on the Gucci flip-flop. Hey, yo, what is this? Bro, we literally got Niagara Falls in the middle of Houston, Texas. Why did nobody tell me about this? This is freaking cracked. This is lit. Holy heck. I didn't know there was a whole middle part to it. Yo! Yo! I can't feel you there where I once had you all alone in the back of my mind. I'm under your spell, I can't get out. My heart falls 
five below And I'm still here, I'm freezing cold And I will wait, I hold my breath Alright folks, we just went to the Galleria Mall, I think that uh, it's pronounced that. Um, as you guys saw from the waterfall out there, that was like very close to the mall. Uh, we were literally just planning on going to the mall and then we saw a freaking Niagara Falls out there. So that was pretty cracked. Um, I didn't really record in the mall, you know, we were just trying to enjoy our time together. And it's also super loud in there. Honestly, you know, it wasn't even worth vlogging. But I did want to vlog, we copped some Annie Ann's for the one time, okay. If you guys don't know me, I am a huge pretzel fan. I am literally like addicted to pretzels at this point. Um, especially Annie Ann's. It's a problem. As Hannah's shaking it's, her head. It's a problem. Bro, they smell so, like, dude, you walk past this place in the mall, and I swear every time, you're just like, man, I need those pretzels. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it! So, we got the pretzels, Hannah's got the cheese. Um, we're actually about to make our way to the airport, so this is kind of like our last hoorah, okay? Which is very sad, because the time went by fast, man, but we've enjoyed it, we've had a lot of fun, and now unfortunately, we already have to fly back home. So we're, we're headed to the airport after we mow down, mow down, mow down. Chow down? And chow down! <laughs> <laughs> so it took us three tries, I'll get there t t t t today, Junior. T -t Today, Junior! Painful. But yeah, we're going to chow down on these Annie Ann's pretzels, okay? So, love you guys, and uh, thank you guys so much for support. Uh, for support? For supporting this video. I hope you guys have been enjoying it, okay? I'm slacking. I hope, if you guys enjoy these vlogs, um, or if you guys enjoy this vlog, um, you know, let, let us know. Let us know by dropping a like, dropping a comment. Um, it's definitely much appreciated, because I definitely want to vlog more for you guys. I, I really want to get more into the lifestyle content. Um, I love streaming, don't get me wrong, but... I also really want to get more on YouTube with like lifestyle content. So yeah, that's really all I got for you guys. Now it is time for Annie Ann's. Mmm, delish.